Hello. In this example, I will be taking up this drop down. In this drop down, there are various check boxes. And I can select all or I can just select one check box at a time. So I can, it's up to me to select a check box. Fine. And I can also select it. Uh, on the basis of its index, right? I, I basically want a system in which I specify the index of the checkbox which needs to be checked from an Excel file and that checkbox should be checked. Okay? So let's start this example. So because we are going to use ex, uh, this uh, Exodus file here, for reading the Exodus file, I'll have to get the Excellus Reader dot Java, which we created in module number seventeen in the training, right? And I'll have to include the POI API jar files into my ex in, into my project uh, path. I'll just include them. There were five jar files, as I told you. Uh, and these jar files will help you read the XML file. Sorry, the XLS file, right? DOM4j and XML beans. So these are by Apache, open source, fine. So I have this XLS reader Java now. Okay. In this project, I'll create an Excel file and. I'll go to the location and inside the source folder I'll also create a new Microsoft Excel file and name it uh, data. Inside this Excel file I will create a sheet called drop list and a column called checkbox right and in this column I will mention that okay fine uh, in, if, if you look at the checkbox if you go back to the application if you look at this checkbox then the first checkbox I'll give it as an index number 0 the second checkbox I'll give the index number as 1 2 and so on and so forth okay so if I write 0 over here then obviously selenium should select all the checkboxes fine that is it should click on all but if I write like this 1 comma 2 comma 3 then it should select the checkbox number 1 2 and 3 if I write 1 5 and 9 then it should select the checkbox 1 5 and 9 so how do we do it right so let's uh, start There's a simple way to do it. I've already created the code and I'll explain it to you. Here you go. Let me uncomment it. Right. Okay. The first thing which I do is that I create the object of WebDriver, open Firefox, go to my localhost application which I just deployed on my Tomcat server. Right. And after that, you create the object of web element and created by writing driver dot find element by the X path. Now what kind of strategy am I applying in this? I am applying the strategy that if I use firebug on this drop list and if I go over this box, you see this box? Right? This box contains all the checkboxes. Right? Now suppose what I will do out here is that I will extract this checkbox first and from this checkbox I'll extract all the elements which are of the type sorry um, I will extract this box this bigger this outer box and from this outer box I will extract all the checkboxes okay so the first step would be to extract this box from the application this box has got the X path as this is the X path right this is basically a web element okay 
So I will write over here web element the box is equal to driver dot find element by the x path and you provide the x path of that box. Now I have that box. From that box I will find elements. You see this command find elements. It will find more than elements by the tag name input. If you go to your uh, checkbox and you move your mouse and you try to see the properties through firebug then you will see that the, in, the tag name for this checkbox is input. Okay. So I am writing over here checkbox will be equal to box dot find elements by the tag name input. Okay. So this will find all the elements inside this box with the tag name input. So all the checkboxes will have the tag name input. So this will retrieve all the checkboxes in the form of list. Okay. If you are not clear with this line, please go to my site qtpselenium.com and watch the video number 11th, uh, sorry 12th or 13th in that I have explained everything. How to extract uh, objects in bulk. Fine. Now driver dot find element. After that, what I am writing over here is that driver dot find element by the x path. Okay. Now uh, basically, right? Uh, basically, what I am doing, this line should actually come over here in the beginning. What I will do, I will navigate to the page and I will click on this drop list. First, I have to click on this drop list so that everything is visible. Okay. So, I take the x path of this drop list. This is the x path, right? So, in the very beginning, I write driver dot find element by this x path and then click on it. Right. This will make the drop list visible. After the drop list is visible, I extract the box from it. And then from the box, I extract all the elements with the tag name input and I put them in the list. So basically all the check boxes are in this list. This list is of the type web element. This list will hold web elements and the web elements will be nothing but the check boxes. Right. Now if I write list dot list checkbox, this is the name list checkbox dot size. It will give me the size of the list. That is total number of check boxes in the list. And if I write list checkbox dot get two, that is get the third element because list starts from zero dot click. It will click on the third checkbox. Okay. Now when I run this code, right, let, let Firefox open. Okay, Firefox is opening, it's going to localhost and see that it's selected the third checkbox. All is the zeroth one, product one is the one and product two is the third one. Now my basic, basic motive is to read the indexes which have to be selected from this drop list. Okay, so what I will do is that I'll create the object of XLS reader here. Reader and call it data table equals to new XLS reader and I will make it point towards the current Excel file. We saw that how to do that. We write simply system dot get property. user dot dir okay. inside that okay inside that get the source folder and inside the source folder you will have your xls file which is the one we just created uh, data.xlsx right now I will write over here string 
selections equals to data table dot get we used to use the function get cell data right from the sheet name you specify the sheet name as drop list from the column name the column name is checkbox and from the row number I will write row number as 2 because in the second row the data is there in the excel file ok so now I get the selections now this selection I will have to break it I will write selections dot I will split it remember string functionality you split the selections on the basis of like this is the select split function and I'll write it over you split it on the basis of comma because every value is separated with a comma so when you split it on the basis of comma you get an array I'll name my array as temp array so in this temp array in the 0th index what will go in the 0th index 1 will go in the first index 2 will go in the third second index 3 will go so all I need to write is now a for loop like this for int i equals to 0 i less than temp dot length i plus plus and system uh, and this command list checkbox dot out there I had hard coded 2 but instead of hard coding 2 I will write temp i over here so when i is 0 temp 0 will hold the value of uh, the first checkbox the index of the first checkbox which needs to be clicked temp 1 will hold the index of the second checkbox and so on so forth so this should be a integer but it's a string because it's a string array so I'll have to convert it into an integer by using integer dot parsint you see that people first seven modules of this training are very important they cover Java if you haven't read those modules properly then you will face difficulties in selenium in order to convert a string this will be a string to an integer you have to write integer dot parsing and then change the checkbox will select it right so in this case now the page should open this drop list should open and first second and third checkboxes should be clicked on the first the zeroth one should not be okay so when I run this code so I'll, I'll close my data.xls first right and let's run this Java is the fundamental it's very important okay so you see that first second and third checkbox got selected now if I go to my excel file okay and I change the index to 3 comma 7 comma 8 3 comma 6 comma 8 it will select different items now right so this is the code if you see the output of the console in the console it is uh, sorry yeah in console it is written 21 this is the size of the list that is total number of checkboxes in the list it's coming because of this line list checkbox dot size now when I again run this code this should select different numbers depending on the indexes passed from the excel file right you see that 8 got selected 6 got selected and 3 got selected right 3, 6 and 8 I had written over here so it selected the 3rd, 6th and the 8th element from this drop list. Okay?